Hello everyone. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday fun day. This has not been a fun weekend for me to say the least, but I have to be optimistic and there might be something going on tomorrow. I'm not sure. We're going to probably sometime soon take some things to Goodwill. I've been packing things in tote bags and I mean, well, I don't say paper bags, but I have plenty of tote bags that I can pack stuff in. Um, so anyway, we may do that tomorrow. I told my mom I just really wanted to get out. I've been working for like seven or eight days straight without really much of a break. A little bit on Friday, but I've just been working, 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 trying to find a few missing items, some very important. So um, that's what's going on. I wanted to go out for coffee tomorrow. There was a uh, kind of a crazy storm. I mean, it didn't hit my my area or my complex too badly. It was coming in from the northwest. But I had promised, or I had started something last weekend, I think it was last Sunday, that I was going to do. It said bi-weekly. Well, I can't keep up with that. So I'm doing a once-weekly challenge, and I'm going to try to do it every... Oh, maybe I did it a week ago. I don't know. Maybe I did a week ago Saturday, I think. But anyway, on the weekend, I'll try to try to try to try to do a challenge unless I'm doing something else or traveling, which is probably going to happen in the spring, pending. Um, so my challenge today is to see how many loads of laundry I can get done from about... Ooh, 11.30 or so, maybe noon till 7 o'clock at night, so 7 hours. So, so far I've only gotten two done. This, uh, I've been making a lot of spills and messes lately. Dr drinks like coffee and tea and just whatever. I spilled tea today. The other day I spilled two cups of coffee. It just slipped out of my hand as I was checking out of the microwave. So this is a rag that I used to clean um, one of these, the mess I made today. So that's going to go in next. Um, and I have to, I usually do two low or maybe one on this uh, soak cycle. And then I usually do at least two on the regular cycle. So I'm going to see the, all the stuff in there. It's dark. So it's like black and dark stuff. So I'm just going to put a little more laundry detergent. Thank goodness I have this stuff to back me up in case I run out, which I'm sure I will very soon. So I'm just going to put a little of this in my washer right now. Alrighty, so I put the detergent in. Ooh. This thing is like broken here. This thing on the dryer handle of the door. So I don't know. I have to do something about that. Uh, this could go. <clears throat> it's a little damp, so I can put it on another drying cycle. And this has to be washed on the low heat automatic permanent press. All right. So, I just want to get out and get a break so bad. So, it's possible tomorrow. Hopefully, I can get to Goodwill. I can show you the bag I've packed. And I have some couple of uh, clothing items that some of them I had to throw out because they had holes in them. They're kind of old and from a thrift store. But um, some of them, a few of them I found that I could give to Goodwill and I have some ideas of what more clothes that I don't need that I can give to Goodwill. But anyway, this is my bag of things that goes to Goodwill. This is a gnome. I got two new gnomes this year. A word find pad. I have too many of those. This is a Christmas decoration a deck of Ice Spy cards. This is a DVD. I bought that for a project like last year, but I just don't 
need it, I'll probably never get to that project. So that's just a few things in here. And, um, yeah, that's, I think it. That's it for that bag. I gotta get a few more bags. So, anyway, this is kind of combo. This video is kind of a combo um, challenge uh, video and a just showing you what I'm projects I'm doing around my apartment. I will probably bring something a little more exciting tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> Now, one of my other projects is going through things, uh, bins and boxes. I've had to get rid of some bins because they're just, they were just taking up too much space in my room and around the apartment and I just didn't need them. Um, so I had to make good use of space. I found this peace symbol necklace, which I really, really liked. Well, I still do like it. <laughs> Um, oh, it's old. I think I may have gotten it in Chicago. Like I, I know I probably got a thrift store. And this is from a trip, a family, a very long family vacation uh, back in tw summer of 2019. I did this photo album at Walgreens. Uh, this is Wawa is an East Coast gas station. I had this like put on there. This your mind is free. Oh, I think I did that with like an app or something. This is, oh, well, this is before I went to Vegas. So this is just an image of probably off Pinterest or something of the slot Zilla on Fremont Street. This is, hmm, not sure what that is. Something I made or, I don't know, a picture of it. This is, I'm not sure what that is, that could be Mexico, it could be, I think it is Mexico. This was a restaurant at the Dulles Airport, which is in Virginia. This is, okay, this is, I think, no, that's Virginia, I think. It's like four pictures combined, like a collage photo in one. Yeah, this is in Virginia. I forgot the name. It's a real small, kind of quaint little town in Virginia. I forgot the name of it. Uh, oh, that was at the Dallas airport. My double gulp. <laughs> Long story behind that. <laughs> oh, the Dallas airport. Let's see here. I'll skip over that one. This is at the Dulles. There's Dallas and Dulles. Personally, I think... I have fonder memories of the Dulles Airport in Virginia. Oh, geez, this is a t-shirt I bought at, there's, there's some kind of store in that Virginia town. Skip ahead here. This is at a, yeah, that's at the store in Virginia. Another one, Keep Calm and Fruit Tea. I need to do that, I need to make some tea. It's been a long time. I do like hot tea and iced tea, actually. I'm drinking some iced tea now. These are all from that store. I think I made a couple of these photo albums. Bath, bun, bombs, bon, bonbons. This is all from that store. Oh, a little free library. Uh, yeah, free books. I like those free libraries. They have them around here. Like they, they're all over the place, like around where I lived, lived in Chicago suburbs. Shop small. Ugh. I was a little chubbier then, back three years ago when I was at that time still drinking. This is in Maryland. I think that's the Maryland flag. I forgot the name of that town. St. Michael's, Maryland, maybe? I think it was St. Michael's, Maryland. Another small quaint town. Mm, it's in Spanish. I think I got that online. Yeah, that's an image online. I think that's a Funko Pop. This is at Rehoboth Beach Boardwalk in Delaware. Uh, it's the Dallas or Do Dolly's uh, candy place. 
and Rehoboth Beach. That's just random, like this, I think it's an abandoned house or building I saw on the side of the road. We were driving through Delaware, across the southern part of Delaware, which only took us an hour to get from the west state line, the Maryland state line, to the ocean, Rehoboth Beach in Delaware. It only took an hour. That's how small Delaware is. I liked it though. It's a cool, cool state. Pretty. Pretty in the southern part. Oh, this is in, yeah, that's in Maryland. I believe it was, ooh, we'll start with a C. Ch Chester, ooh, I forgot the name. It was a small town on the, wa I think it was on the bay. What is the name of that bay? I am drawing a blank on all the stuff that I used to know. There was, there was a town I remember called, Ch 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 not Chamberlain. Maybe it was Chamberlain. I don't know. Another seat. Oh, what was the name of that town? Cre oh. Let's start with CR. I remember. Oh, that's the end of the book. Okay, I just wanted to show you that. That's some of my not old travels. It was only like three and a half years ago, but that was pretty much an epic vacation just because we covered a lot of ground. We saw, let's see. Well, we flew, oh no, we flew into Dulles, so we didn't go to, well, we did go to D.C. and saw some things, um, and then went into Virginia. We have I have fam a lot of family in Virginia and Maryland. I don't think I have any in Delaware. I might even have some in D.C., some second cousins. Um, I went to Chincoteague Island, Virginia, Virginia Beach, Virginia. We drove through and ate fast food. Uh, of course, Rehoboth Beach, Lewis, Delaware, we drove through major traf major beach traffic. Uh, where else did we go? There were some places in Virginia. Oh, Williamsburg, because my one of my uncles is a silversmith in Colonial Williamsburg, and he and my aunt live there. Williamsburg. There's just a lot to see on the East Coast. Even though I'm a bigger fan of like the West and the wide open spaces and the little ghost towns and everything, I really still have a fun... I don't know, it's just more congested on the East Coast, but there's a... I don't know if you call it like maybe a mystique about it. I mean, I am originally... I was born in D.C. We lived across the Potomac River in Arlington, Virginia. That's where my my mom's parents lived until they both passed away. Or wait, well, I, I, yeah, my grandma passed away there in 1990, and then my my mom grew up there. She grew up all around like Northern Virginia, and yeah. So anyway, I'm getting off on these like family stories and travel stories, and so I'm just showing you what I've been finding, all this stuff, and I wish I could find the main thing I'm looking for. There's a few things I'm looking for, and that's why my plans have been put on hold, because actually I'll tell you what it is. It's a $250 pair of prescription glasses. I just hope they didn't slip out of my coat pocket, or I left them in a store or something. That's what I'm afraid of. Um, I can actually get by with just readers, and they're really not as uncomfortable sometimes as the prescription glasses. They leave marks on my, the prescription glasses were leaving marks on my nose and all that. So I really have to find them. I just hope, I wish my mom could come over here and help me. I, I'm not really a hoarder like I used to be in Chicago. That was due to some, uh, a major long depressive period when I was really depressed and I was collecting a lot of things to kind of make myself feel better and alleviate the depression but I am not really as bad here the only thing I have a problem with is all this like nostalgic stuff old photos and postcards of travels and um stuff my mom's given me just a lot of stuff travel brochures from going back like 30 years or something so I really I do want to get rid of that but at the same time, I want to hold on to it. Even though it's so old, I really want to hold on to it for memories and put it in a scrapbook. I need to get a big scrapbook. I started one, I think it was during COVID. Um, and I did put a lot of stuff, pictures of Chicago and stuff, but I need to work more on that. I need to go back to that and work more. I just am so busy with 
housework and all that, taking care of Casey. I haven't even got a chance to go to, on a walk just because it's been so icy. The last time I went out on a short walk, I was trying to avoid a patch of ice on a small hill and I slid in the mud and fell, like slid down the little hill. Fortunately, it wasn't a big hill, but I got my pants completely dirty. <laughs> Yeah, it's not, it's still not really great weather for going out hiking and stuff because it's not flat here. There's a lot of hills and stuff, small ones and big ones, but alrighty. Well, I'm going to tie this all into one video today. I hadn't, I hadn't filmed, I didn't film, I don't think I filmed it all yesterday. And I, th no, wait, I did, but I deleted them because they were crappy videos. So I sometimes do that if I look back on, or I watch them again on my phone and don't like them <laughs> I just delete them <laughs> there aren't many like that uh, but the last time I really really filmed was Friday so I, I had been filming every day I was on a roll um, and filming every day and putting up two or three videos a day so I kind of took a little break to uh, kind of get things organized around here so I'd have more to film until I can get out again, which is probably going to be tomorrow. So anyway, that's it for now. And then I'm going to get back to my challenge, which is how many loads of laundry can I do between like 1130 noon until probably seven or maybe, well, I like to stop around between six and seven with my laundry. Alrighty. I just want to remember that my mind is free and I need not worry so much about the future and just being able to really get out and film. But that's going to happen when the weather gets a little bit warmer. This is a hard time of year for me. Well, for a lot of people, just because of the weather, just it's not, <laughs> it's even ickier sometimes in like December and November. I mean, just the mud and ice and all that. Okay, see you in the next part. Alrighty, my battery is down to 15%. I forgot to fully charge my phone last night. It was probably around 18% when I turned it on this morning. And I just forgot to put it on the charger or whatever. I just got too tired. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to have to put it on the charger. I can still listen to it. And... Uh, anyway, this is the left left step of the laundry is putting this fabric softener. I am running out of fabric softener. That's gonna have to be the next thing. That's one of the next things on my list. I think it, yeah, I think I made a list last night or, yeah, for Walmart on Tuesday. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna do this, and I still have one in the dryer. It's getting close to done, and then this is only my second load today because I had to go through a few cycles. I still gotta tackle this. I hope I never get sick again, well, anytime soon because it really packed up my laundry. So... This is next, and I have to spray this thingy here with OxyClean. This shirt got a little coffee dripped on it. So, yeah. Alrighty, second little laundry. <laughs>